Hello friends, today we're gonna learn how to create a CSS3 tooltip without using jQuery or JavaScript. So you might ask, what is tooltip? Well, a tooltip is a message which is displayed when you hover over some text, links, images or icons. Okay? Or sometimes it is also known as info tip or hints. Okay? So let me show you guys my final project that I have built here you can see that it says hover over me to display message and when I hover over this you can see a tooltip is displayed so now let's see how to create this and you will find it interesting because we are going to use a single anchor tag to create this link and as well as its info tip or tooltip so let me show you this structure here you can see guys we have only a single anchor tag here and this has a link to google and a custom data attribute is applied to it which is data tooltip content so, uh, separated by hyphen and here you can see that the hint description here which is hey i am a tooltip and a target blank is given because i want the link to open in a separate tab and here's the link text which is hover over me to display message okay now let's jump into css and i'm going to delete all this style from here okay and now you can see that we have only a link here okay we're gonna style this link to create a tooltip okay now let's target this link so how we can target this link well we can either use a element which select this link okay or we can use the custom data attribute that we have applied as an attribute selector so i'll write data tooltip then content okay now you can see that this link has been selected now guys we're gonna apply some basic style to it so i'm gonna apply a text decoration so that i can remove the underline none okay and let's apply a font family of helvetica okay and also going to apply it a color which is pound three four three four three four okay and also give it a position of relative it this is important because we want to position its after and before pseudo selectors content relative to this a element okay or link element so this is very important and let's give it a text transform of capitalize okay now we're gonna apply some styles to its hover effect link hover effect i'm gonna copy this from here and let's apply a pseudo class of hover and here i'm gonna apply a color i just want to change its color to something like five six b e b a okay so when you hover over this you can see its color is changing now let's apply style to its after and before pseudo selector so let me show you guys here i gonna copy paste again that i have copied earlier and let's apply it after pseudo selector which means it will create some content direct after this message so let me show you an example i can write here content tool tip okay now you can see that a tooltip text is appearing after the message okay so this is how this after and uh, after pseudo selector works and similar for the before you can see that now tooltip is displayed before the hover over me display message okay so we're gonna use this trick so let's create a content which is content and we're gonna apply this 
a double t r value and here we gonna give it an attribute of data tool tooltip content okay and this will display the message that has been written inside this uh, data tooltip content attribute let me show you guys this data tooltip content here you can see that we have data hyphen tooltip hyphen content uh, equal to hey i am a tooltip and you can see this message here hey i am a tooltip okay so this is how we can di uh, display the or fetch the information from attributes okay and here i gonna change this selector from before to after okay let's give it a color of count three zero f three eight f okay it is kind of green and let's give it a background color so i'll write background and give it a color of pound 3 3d 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 okay and let's give it some padding so i can write one ram of padding and let's give it a border radius of 0.25 ram okay and let's also apply it a margin of left which about one ram which is equal to 15 pixels because i have already set the base font size inside my document which is equal to 15 uh, pixels so now i want to apply a position property of absolute to this element so i'll write position and absolute okay now we need to apply one more property to fix this here we can write uh, white space no run all uh, this will prevent from line break and set its top property to minus 100 percent this will send be up to top and let's give it a left property of 100 percent okay now we are gonna create a triangle speech bubble here okay so let's create that for that we're gonna apply before pseudo selector so just change this here to before and in here i'm gonna type again content and this time we're gonna keep empty content and let's <coughs> apply it a width of zero okay and how to create a triangle speech bubble well we gonna use border property to create that triangular effect so let's see that so i'll write border and i gonna apply border right of one ram solid well 3d 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 okay and i also going to apply border top of one ram solid transparent okay this is important and let's also apply border bottom of one ram solid transparent trans so it is looking like a triangular or trapezium type effect so let's convert it into triangle by just positioning it as absolute so i can write here position and let's set it to absolute now you can see that it is changed to a triangle shape okay let's fix this triangle to the left sorry right so how we can do that simply just go ahead and write left equal to 100 percent colon 100 percent now you can see that it is fixed to the right and left to this tooltip so let's 
shift little bit top uh, minus 50% so it is centered okay now we gonna apply a pointer event so I can write pointer events none and this is not necessary in this case but sometimes it is necessary to write this proper now the interesting part comes now we gonna look how to display this tooltip when we hover over to this link initially we want it to be hidden here i gonna write after and again paste it and let's say before and we, we wanna hide hide that tooltip initially so how we can do that well i can write opacity equal to zero and visibility equal to hidden okay and let's again copy this to reveal that so here i can write so to reveal that so here i can write revealing to tip tool tip and just paste that and simply change this opacity to one and visibility hidden to visible and then change this after that data tooltip content just create trust hover class okay and similar for this two uh, before selectors here i gonna write hover now you can see that tooltip has been disappeared now when you hover over this you can see that it is displaying and it is visible okay now let's go ahead and apply some transition effect to this okay so we can do that by simply here applying transition and we can write opacity 0.3 second is visibility 0.3 second is okay and here you go now you can see that the tooltip is displaying more smoothly okay so guys you have seen how we created this tooltip using a single anchor element without using any jquery or javascript okay so guys if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends and thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye